Welcome back, artistic family, to another adventure. For those of you who are new, thank you very much for stopping by Shannon Gibson Art and Designs. Hopefully by the end of the video, you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any videos or updates. And speaking of that, guys, I'm still getting people saying that they're missing my videos. Click on the bell beside subscribe. Whatever you chose before, go back and click none, then go back and click all and that should work. Now I have had issues as well and I've done that and it worked for some time and then it kind of fell off. So if you notice that you're not getting regular videos from me, please do that. I post every Sunday with a couple random videos here and there throughout that week. If you guys know uh, Left Brained Artist, he's a fantastic um, artist who loves to get in depth and provide a lot of information and details in his videos. The majority of them are art tutorials. I suggest you check them out. I will put his link um, down in the video description. I'm piggybacking off of a couple of videos he's done with regards to swipes. And because I do swipes all of the time, and because I adjust my consistencies all of the time, I thought it would be a great idea for me to test which consistencies work best. So what I have today, guys, is three separate swiping tools that I use most often, okay? Now again, this is basically for me, I suggest everybody do their own test. So I have my magnets. I like them because they're thick and they apply a lot more pressure without having to apply a lot of pressure. And I love my plastic. Again, it's your thicker plastic, so not like your binder dividers. And again, it's very flexible, pliable, and easy to use. And I get good lacing out of that, as well as cells. And then I have a plastic palette knife. So these are the three, if you guys watch me a lot, especially with my swipes, which is one of my favorite techniques to do. I use my own methods. I do my own thing like I do with most of my pores. I get inspired, and then I like to make things my own and put my own creative expression in it. And so these are the three. I will link my swipe playlist for you guys to take a look as well. So the colors I've chose to do today, again, are colors that I use all of the time. And you guys know that I'm addicted to black. And just as a tip, guys, when you're testing consistency, don't hold your stick up. See the difference? See how that goes right in with no mound when I hold it up high? But when I hold it close, you can clearly see the mound before it dissipates. So that is what I'm considering my thick. And the reason why is slight mound is probably 80% of the consistencies I use for most pores. It works for any pore that I do for the most part, unless I'm doing pearl pores or I want to do a ring pour and I'm looking to really refine and keep the lines and design in, then I'll go a little bit thicker. And then, of course, everyone may be different, but I like to keep my cell activator the same consistency. So here you can see that that has a slight mound on it as well, okay, before it dissipates. Kind of hard to see with the white. So what I'm going to do is use my slight mound consistency. I've taken some painter's tape just to separate the board so it makes it a lot easier when we go and we review it to see the separate differences. So I'll do my one, two, three thick swipes with each tool, and then we'll flip this around, which is my picture back framing. I love to use these for testing. I just painted the back because the this type of material just absorbs and sucks up the paint, and we don't want that. And then I will do the thin using the same tools. So just not to waste too much paint. I'm just going to spread this on as evenly as I can.
Okay, so here was my thick side. And that first one here I did with the... Um, Totally went brain dead, guys, with my magnet. And I love the lacing. Okay, and the cells, love how they look. Beautiful. And then this one here, I used my plastic. Yes, I'm kind of moved over as I moved the, um, the backing, the board backing. And then this one here was done with my palette knife. And I found with my plastic and my magnet that the paint dragged down a lot further, okay? And to me, with the thick paint, my magnet, which I said was heavier, okay? Without having to push down and apply a lot of pressure, it just naturally does, which of course is going to bring up the oils and the properties and the chemicals from the paint which make it a lot easier to react. Okay, so here's the thin. Again, the first swipe was with my magnet. You can clearly see a difference. Things got moved a little wonky. And then there I use my plastic, okay? Again, very thin paint. You see it moving, which is going to adjust your cells and your lacing, okay? I will show you guys the two together once I'm done this. And then there was my palette knife, which was the least impressive out of all of them. Now it is very easy to see the difference. Thin with my magnet, thick with my magnet. Okay, that's thin. So again, there is my plastic swiping tool, thick and thin with my plastic swiping tool. And then we have the palette knife thick and the palette knife on thin. So it is very clear to see that the plastic did the worst for thick and thin. Same with the palette knife, but much different and much better with the thick. And my magnet did 10 times better with thick than it did with thin. So I'm still gonna use all of them because I know how they work. I use them all the time. But for the comparison, I just wanted you guys to see how consistency makes a huge difference. Not just with cells, but your design would do the same thing. It would get wonky and move out the way and any cells or lacing that you were looking to keep would go. And you'll see well, how thin that is. And that was just with a few extra drops as opposed to my slight mound is not moving. Okay, just the thin. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, comparison. I hope this is helpful. But I really want you guys to keep in mind that the paints matter. So because I use Soft Body Black all the time by Artist Loft, and I use titanium white, if I didn't tell you guys, um, quite a bit now. Um, if you use different paints like Amsterdam, your results are going to be different, even with thin. But my suggestion, and uh, in my experience, thicker paint is better, and I don't mean thick, thick, like not mound on a mound for a swipe. Different pores, that works great. But for a swipe, the consistency that I find works best for me and will keep your design intact is a slight mound. And for swiping, I now know that my magnet works the best. So you guys can comment, let me know what you think. Please let me know if you guys have done some, what consistency you prefer, or what works best with your tastes and style and designs. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next pour.